Hey everyone, it's Mickey, your friendly educational technology facilitator. I'm coming at you today with a new video on how to use the new quiz option in Google Forms. This summer, Google released the ability to turn your Google Form into a quiz with just a few clicks. Now, teachers have been using Google Forms for quizzes ever since Google Forms came out, but before this update, you had to actually install an add-on to grade the quiz. Now, Google has built that functionality right within the Forms product itself. You'll also see that I'm trying something a little new today. Normally I just let you hear my voice, I don't let you see my face, so I'm using the webcam option today to give you a look at who's been talking at you. Let's get started looking at the quiz feature in Google Forms. You know that you can start a new form by going to your drive, clicking New and Google Form. But you'll, you can see I'm a little someplace a little different today, and I'm at the Forms homepage. You can access this by going to forms.google.com or by selecting your Waffle Launcher and clicking on Forms. Each of the Google Apps, Docs, Sheets, Slides has its own launcher page that looks similar to this. When you do that, you'll see the forms that you have in your drive, and you'll see that you have the ability to start a new form. So I can start a blank form, or I can do an exit ticket, an assessment, a worksheet. So Google has built some really nice templates that you can use and then modify to use for your own classroom. But we're going to go ahead and do a blank quiz. Now remember, you can do this by going to your drive and selecting new form. You just have to be sure that you enable the quiz feature. When you select blank quiz from the form homepage, that feature is already turned on. So let's take a look at our settings. And the first area we're going to look at is in general. Uh, notice that when you select a quiz, it automatically restricts the form to your GAF domain. So your domain would be listed here. Once that is enabled, you have the ability to collect email addresses. And when I'm doing a Google form as a quiz, I always want to select that option because my students don't have to then put in their name. It's The form is automatically going to collect that. If you have students put in their name, they can make a mistake when they're typing. And so this is just really a better option to collect their usernames. Uh, when I'm doing it as a quiz, I almost always want to limit it to one response. I don't need the kids answering the questions more than once. And and you'll notice this option here, response receipts. If you leave that checked, that means that respondents receive a copy of their responses, which means then that your questions and answers are out there for the world. So when you're doing a quiz especially, you want to be sure that you turn that feature off. At the bottom, respondents can edit after submit and see a summary of responses. Again, two options you probably want to leave unchecked for quizzes. Back up at the top, if you select presentation, you'll notice that you have an option to show a progress bar. If you have uh, multiple pages to your quiz or it's really long, it's kind of nice to turn that on. And you also notice that you have the ability to shuffle question order. This helps with um, students looking off of each other's screens, trying to see what each, each other are um, selecting as the answers. You have the ability to type in a confirmation message, so uh, by default it just says your response has been received or recorded, but you can put in anything there that you want. Then we'll go to the quizzes tab. Now, because we chose a blank quiz when we started, this is already enabled. If you go to Drive to create your form that way, you'll have to come in here and turn this on to make it a quiz. Under Grading Options, you have two options for releasing the grade. If you check immediately after each submission, as soon as the student clicks Submit, they will be presented with a link to view their responses. Or if you have multiple classes throughout the day that need to take the same quiz, you'll probably want to select later after manual review. That means you can choose when the grades go back to the students. At the bottom, respondents can see missed questions. If you leave that checked, that means that they will be able to identify which questions were answered incorrectly. Correct answers means they will be shown the correct answer for each question. And point values means that point values will be listed for each question and uh, total points will be shown. Go ahead and click Save when you're done with the settings. Now you are ready to enter your quiz questions. So for the quiz option, uh, remember on a Google form, you actually have multiple question types. For the quiz option, the only ones that will work to be auto graded are multiple choice, check boxes, and drop down. So if you want the quiz to be auto graded, stay within this um, section for question types so that that feature can be enabled. So go ahead and enter your first question and answer choices. Once you've entered your first question and your answer choices, you will need to set the answer key. 
When you select Answer Key, you will be able to establish the number of points that the question is worth, and you need to select the correct answer so that when the quiz grades it, it knows which answer is correct. You also have the option to provide answer feedback. So I can provide feedback for incorrect answers, and I can provide feedback for correct answers. Incorrect answers, I might want to explain what the correct answer was. Correct answers, I could put something as simple as, good job, so that the student knows that that was correct. Go ahead and click Save when you would filled in your feedback. Again, feedback is optional. You don't need to include either one. To go back to Edit Question Mode, you'll click Edit Question. Go ahead and continue adding your questions to your quizzes. Once you've entered in your question and your answer choices, be sure you go to the Answer key, uh, select your number of points, and select the correct answer. When you add your answer feedback, you'll notice that you have a link option on both correct answers and incorrect answers. So if you select that, then you would be able to provide a link to where the students can go to get information on the correct answer. Uh, text to display is optional, but we'll go ahead and add that there. And so incorrect feedback, we can also add the same link under correct feedback if we wanted to um, and see what that does. So we'll go ahead and click Save there. So again, to edit the question, you'll go back into Edit Question Mode. Now let's take a look and see what this looks like on the student side. So we're going to go ahead and preview this quiz. So again, the name is being collected, the brain of the computer. We'll go ahead and answer this question wrong, and Main Memory will answer this question right to see what happens. We can see that each question is worth one point. I'll go ahead and click Submit. And right here, because I chose to give them feedback immediately, it says view your score. Students will click on that link and they will see the um, if they got the answer wrong and what the correct answer was because we chose those. And w if they got the answer correct, it will be a green and a check mark. They'll see one for one, the correct answer. And then remember on this one, we gave them some feedback so they can actually click on this link and read a little bit about main memory, um, if they got it right or if they got it wrong. That's part of the feedback option. Going back to the teacher side now, what does this look like as far as uh, what do the teachers see? If we go into responses, we can see a summary of all of the questions of each question and who got it, uh, how many got it right and how many got it wrong. And we can also see individual responses so we can see each student and how they performed on the quiz as well. So the quiz option in Google Forms can be a quick way to assess your students.